Hello and welcome, Angelo here and today we're gonna have a quick look at Conquest the Ward and Conquer. So this game has been around for a while and let's first of all look into the settings real quick. We got general options here, quite a few amount of video options and some audio sliders. So I'm rolling with the demo right now, there's also multiplayer no mode but I don't know how big the community is to be honest. And single player wise you can choose to play with different players, I think there's also some kind of a hot seat mode and you can play with up to six players here but the demo is confined to playing against one single AI. Uh, let's give the AI a little bit of a handicap because in the first couple games I played I got my bat kicked quite heavily <laughs> and let's jump right in. So the goal here is to capture as, mount as much ground as possible as soon as you capture 75% of the map you won the game and there's also a turn limit of 20 turns when it is up the game will decide the victor by the amount of cities you actually captured. And we have three drop pods, we can decide where we want to drop our soldiers and they're gonna spread out from there. Uh, the first couple games I used to drop them all in the corner and try to spread out from there but the enemies quickly surrounded me and so I decided to split them up a bit more here. Capture the cities here around these guys and these two will go. North. So this game has a rock paper scissor principle, we got tanks, soldiers and planes. Tanks are good against soldiers, planes against tanks and soldiers against planes. <laughs> I hope that was correct, ah, I think so. And yeah, besides the drop pod which recharges every 6 turns you get missiles which will wipe out a field completely of the opposition. So you don't want to stack too much and you got satellites where you can take a peek into territory that has not yet been discovered. Let's see if he has landed somewhere here, I guess, and he will spread up from there and roll me over. I think this was not a good starting strategy. Well, let's see how it goes. So he decides to attack here. And he probably will roll into the city. Let's get one tank and one soldier there. One soldier moves here. And the cities are also where you're gonna produce units, the bigger the city is, the faster the units are gonna be yes, produced. And soldiers yes, as well as tanks can move one field per turn and the aircraft can move whooping two turns. Let's see there's a tank, I don't know if actually three soldiers are enough to turn a tank into dust. Let's not take any chances here. So these cities have not yet been conquered, this is good. Good sign, but I'm wondering where they landed with the other troops. Alright, so we got three soldiers. You have to keep one unit in a city in order to keep it occupied. If you have no unit in a city left, then the city will revert to neutral and you won't be producing anything in there. Okay, let's move the tank in here in case he wants to take it over. And this tank moves up to IRAM. We spread it out here. I think we're good to go for this turn. So you see there, just pop the soldier up. I don't know if you can actually influence which city produces which kind of units. I haven't found a pattern there yet, to be honest. At least. Okay, this is not looking cool. Let's see, we're gonna nuke the city and move our soldier yes, in. The nuke will hit first, then it's wiped out of the enemy opposition and we can capture it. So it's basically take a free city bonus <laughs> type of thing. The soldier stays here, yes, move that soldier in. The tank into the east. Let's see here. Yeah, he's got a tank there somewhere. Okay, the tank is not moving. The soldier is gonna take in the city. The tank moves onward. And he will come up from behind as reinforcement as well as these two soldiers. Terrain plays kind of a role. You can't cross the border with land units. And in the hills. The soldiers have a, as you can see there, 150% bonus and tanks are somewhat limited in their abilities. And we have another drop, drop pod available. Uh, let's see, we could drop them here. Probably he is somewhere here, let's find out. And did he drop somewhere close to me? No, okay, that's good at least. Alright, so he can go north. These guys keep moving up. And one soldier yes, will take this one, the other soldier this city, 
And the rest yeah, of the so forces will move north, north as well. Yeah, this front here in the east, northeast is not looking too good. Let's yeah. I'll just keep the soldier there, the tank's gonna move yeah. up. The soldier can move up as well. Yeah, Here's the yeah. tank somewhere around. Let's see if we can spot him with the satellite. And see if he has some dude stationed around here somewhere. Oh yeah, that's this must be his main fortress. And he attacked here. From where he must have dropped him or something because he can't possibly cross the water. There's no way. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Yeah, I think that's good. And we'll give up here his position. We still got the nuke ready if he should decide to go crazy on us. Can take the city, soldiers hold up. Ah, and here's the first airplane. Airplanes have to stay in within one tile of a city you capture it, or they will run out of fuel and crash into the ground. So their area is somewhat limited where you can use them. But no biggie. See, one tank should be enough. Yes, sir. These soldiers can move up. Oh, he has a tank here as well. But we can use the nuke here. Yes, yeah, you only for one single tank is somewhat. Now let's use the nuke here, right there. And we're gonna move to the right and see if he has Hubble under his control and Overrack. Let's take a glimpse in there as well. So this fighter plane can move up. We're gonna move out. Now our tank actually will stay there. And these two tanks hopefully will be enough to take that city. But overall I think it's quite looking it's looking quite good for us this time around. Yes sir. Alright, yeah, now we got a nice force build up here in the east. I think it's more than enough. Let's get this plane here. In case he decides to attack. These soldiers won't be able to do much against this composition here. And we got another tank. Uh, let's see. This tank moves here. This tank here. Two airplanes up. And I'll stay there for the time being. So the swap positions. Turns are done at the same time, this means uh, if I order my troops to move here for example and the AI or the other player decides to move there, they just pass each other. So you have to kind of block off ways and stuff. Here. This plane will hopefully be enough to bring down both soldiers, but I doubt it. Oh no, the city has not been occupied. Mm, let's see, one tank moves there. Yeah, they're gonna stay where they are. Two soldiers. Yeah, let's see, one tank from here and two soldiers attack from there. Maybe that's already enough to take it now. Let's find out. And it is nice, but there's a tank moving up, which could cause some little problems. Oh, the soldier he got wiped out. What's happened here? You can also look at the battle in history. I must have been the turn before that. So the tank will attack here. Oh no, he will move back. And we're gonna drop some dudes here in the back of this army. So far, I can't complain, that's good. Let's see, two tanks. Look, let's, yeah, let's see, use a nuke here and. The plane goes there. Or actually, no. The plane moves into the city and the tank moves there. 
remove up this unit as well. And these guys here. And another plane. Nice. Yeah, I think we're gonna win this one. You can also see at the top right here I'm currently occupying 63%. And he's controlling 7, uh, 24, excuse me. Um, okay, three tanks. Could get a bit tricky. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, damn it. He used the new gun my drop pod. That was not a cool move, dude. And he's got five soldiers here and two airplanes. Oh boy. Yeah, let's move some troops there. I have a feeling that he'll attack there next turn. Let's move these dudes up here as well. Got a couple of tanks here. And since he just used his nuke, we know he can use another one so we can kind of stack the units here and maybe use this airplane to capture this city there. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, he's moving in. Hopefully our units will be enough to defeat them. And they are. Nice. Three soldiers are not enough to, to, to defeat a single tank unit. he wants now he won't be able to stop our advance or can he <laughs> Currently occupying 66% of the map of the city's reser. Yeah, I think this should be no problem whatsoever to win this one. And we actually made it occupied more than 75% of the map. Nice. So this was a quick look at Conquerors Divide and Conquer, which is available through Gamers Gate for €7.99 or $9.99. It looks to be quite fun, I don't know how big the multiplayer crowd is, but definitely for a coffee break or two, it will suffice more than enough. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for today, I'm gonna wish you a very happy day. Have a good one, bye!